the entrance antiphon. We should glory in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom is our salvation, life, and resurrection, through whom we are saved and delivered. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your only begotten Son should undergo the cross to save the human race, grant, we pray, that we who have known his mystery on earth may merit the grace of his redemption in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Numbers. With their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people Sarah serpents, which bit the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole. 
and if any who have been bitten look at it, they will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The Word of the Lord. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Hearken, my people, to my teaching. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter mysteries from of old. While he slew them, they sought him and inquired after God again, remembering that God was their rock and the Most High God their Redeemer. But they flattered, <coughs> excuse me, they flattered him with their mouths and lied to him with their tongues, though their hearts were not steadfast toward him, nor were they faithful to his covenant. But he, being merciful, forgave them and destroyed them not. Often he turned back his anger and let none of his wrath be roused. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not deem he did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend, of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your cross you have redeemed the world. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to Nicodemus, No one has gone up to heaven except the one who came down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. The Gospel of the Lord.
The word among us has an interesting reflection that is very timely for the times in which we live. Observing, I'll quote a paragraph, in the middle, in the medical world, vaccines protect us from disease by training our immune system to recognize an attack of virus or bacteria. Vaccines inject antigens from the disease into our bodies, small bits in layman's term, so that we produce antibodies to fight off that disease in the future. The very thing that overpowers us and brings sickness and death now empowers us to resist and overcome it. Many are talking about antibodies and talking about vaccines. Apply that to the feast that we celebrate today, the exaltation of the cross. In the book of Numbers, our first reading, we hear that the people had sinned in grumbling against God and against Moses, and Sarah's serpents bit them. And God told Moses, make a bronze Sarah and put it on top of a pole. And anyone who looks on it will be healed. That is a foreshadowing of our Lord being lifted up, lifted up on the cross. And not just those who look on him, but look on him with faith. Look on the cross with faith that Jesus humbled himself and that hum humility and that obedience took away our sins. Jesus was not just lifted up on the cross at his crucifixion. He was also lifted up in the resurrection. And as we come to pray at this Mass, we proclaim Jesus' death and his resurrection. The Mass is the representation of Jesus' death on the cross in an unbloody way, and he is exalted in the resurrection. We receive our risen and glorified Jesus, his body, his blood, his soul, divinity, and holy communion. All of that is part of the exaltation of the cross. When we have crosses and trials in our own lives, the Lord reminds us to look on him, to put our faith in him, and to join our sufferings, our crosses, with his. that all church leaders will inspire in us a willingness to forgive those who have sinned against us, we pray to the Lord. That the leaders of nations will courageously seek reconciliation and peace, we pray to the Lord. For our parish, that we continue to actively invite men and women in our midst to share their gifts and energy with the church as they each discern their vocation, we pray to the Lord. That the gospel call to forgiveness may bring our society to reject the use of capital punishment, we pray to the Lord. For all who have been made ill by the coronavirus, for all who care for them, and for the governments and people of the world, that we may experience the healing mercy of the Lord, we pray to the Lord. For favorable weather and moisture, we pray to the Lord. For the intention of this Mass, for Anna Lee, and for our own intentions, united with Mary, the Mother of God, and all the saints, we add in silence. we pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, hear and grant these prayers which we ask in union with the Holy Spirit, 
through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this oblation, O Lord, which on the altar of the cross canceled the offense of the whole world, Cleanse us, we pray, of all our sins, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you place the salvation of the human race on the wood of the cross, so that where death arose, life might again spring forth, and the evil one who conquered on a tree might likewise on a tree be conquered through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The communion antiphone. When I am lifted up from the cross, I will draw everyone to myself, says the Lord.
Let us pray. Having been nourished by your holy banquet, we beseech you, Lord Jesus Christ, to bring those you have redeemed by the wood of your life-giving cross to the glory of the resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Separated from you, let me never be. From the evil worm, protect me. At the hour of my death, call me. And close to you, bid me that with your saints I may be praising you forever and ever. Amen. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen.